Greetings and salutations in Charlton 66 here once again with another video. As always, I hope everyone's doing well. I hope they had an awesome holiday, Christmas season. And Santa was good to everybody and uh, brought things to them. I've been so busy, I've hardly watched any videos. Um, but now, first day of official retirement, it's Monday. Um, I don't have to do anything. Uh, got my coffee. Surrounded by comics, records, other stuff that I love and collecting. Um, so it's a, it's a phenomenal feeling. Um, it hasn't really set into me yet. Um, I feel like it's a, just a day off right now. Um, but uh, it's rainy outside. Um, so it's it was good not to get up and face, face all that traffic and face the work day. Um, but again, again, back to, I digress, uh, but back to hope everyone had a great Christmas time, holiday, and New Year's coming up soon. I'm just doing a quick video to, um, capture some of the stuff that I got for Christmas. Um, uh, you know, be it, it's one of those things where, you know, it's, a lot of it's comic book related, um, some really good stuff. Uh, my wife really hooked me up, um. She knows my tastes and uh, and was and did not fail to uh, to put a smile on my face. As she always does. It's it's um, you know she knows what I like. So uh, one of the first things, well not the first things, but one of the things I'm going to talk about. Um, awesome Nosferatu figure. Um, I want to take him out of the box. Uh, it looks so cool. I love the artwork, um, but um, he needs to come out. He needs to um, come out of the proverbial coffin, enjoy the fresh air, quite the figure, um, great sculpt on the face, um, got his little shoes on, uh, nice uh, figure. Um, the clothing, everything is really nice on it. Really looks really nice. Um, so she hooked me up with Nosferatu. Um, great um, sculpt on that. I really do enjoy this. So great movie, iconic vampire character. So that was uh, under the tree. Put him down in a safe place. Another thing I got, um, which is kind of cool, it's a gift that keeps on giving the whole year, and it's the comic book trivia calendar, night 2020 daily calendar. Um, uh, it says on the back hundreds of fascinating quotes, trivia, and soup and ways to be super. So I'll know every day how to be super and figure that out as I go along. Um, but it has, uh, apparently the trivia is pretty decent enough. Um, it's never, um, uh, it's not like a generic thing. Like, you know, what company does Batman, what comic company does pretty much out Batman? Everyone you know, knows that. But like one of the examples which series included the cover the cover blurb a great commander can beat the odds a great commander can beat the gods captain america captain victory captain britain captain marvel obviously we're going with captain america but you know it's one of those things where it's you know you got to think for a second but um anyway a comic book trivia calendar which i thought was very cool obviously everything i have i, th I think is cool in some in some respect um didn't get anything cheesy um one of the things that i got was just really really cool and it, it's it goes far beyond and it comes in a small package it comes far beyond what i expected um, it's from charlton neo media which these books i highly recommend um they put these books out and they're just really great this one is no exception um, the reason I say that, this is volume one, um, right there with the nice, cool, uh, military-esque metal, um, because it has in here, and I, and, and I didn't know it did this, it's got a history of Charlton's war comics, Battlefield Action, Fighting Air Force, 
Um, it gives the dates it was published, when it was published, the last issue, which is just great. Fighting Army, which is just great. Um, uh, the Fighting Five, which is not really a war, it could be a war comic book, it's more of a hero esque um, comic book. Um, the Fight Marines, um, it gives information on when, and it's just really cool. And to make it even better, the icing on the cake is they have covers in here in black and white, which I think is very cool to see these in black and white. Um, the colors on Charlton could be, you know, some of them are real muddy, not as colorful as it could be. Obviously, they didn't use the best printing process, as we all know. So some of the colors made the artwork look um, muddied or muted or however you want to say it. But um, just really good stuff here. I think these are only $9.95 for, for, for these books. They're not expensive for what you get. Um, uh, it's just great covers. But the history of, um, at the beginning, um, one of the publishing history, and it's it shows you the publishing history on how crazy the publishing is for some of the Charlton comics. And it's great to have this and have a reference for it. Um, again, for people who want to get these, I highly recommend them. I have a slew of these things, and they're really good. Again, it's put up by Charlton Neo Media. Um, and it's really good stuff. They got them for war, horror, romance, sci-fi, the wakes. It has it. So it's very cool. That was a that was a surprise. That came with this book, which this artist um, is up there as far as the Golden Age of Silver Age is concerned. Um, he's not underrated, he's underappreciated. And I'll say that again, and I'm, I'm talking about Don Heck. Um, some people loathe his work. I love it. Um, stuff on Iron Man is really good. I enjoy it. I'm an Iron Man fan. I collected most of his stuff on Iron Man, but his Silver Age stuff, uh, horror and whatnot is just is phenomenal. Um, this is such a great book to have about an artist that's really underappreciated. Um, gives his history, some of his covers. Um, which, um, which, which, you know, comic media, um, put out some really good comic books, although a very short comic book company, but Death Valley, I didn't know he did the covers for Death Valley. I've got one issue of Death Valley. I don't remember seeing his name on there, but I'm going to have to look. Um, uh, but he did covers for Dynamite, um, Pam, P. Maurice did that book, but apparently, um, Don Heck. Um, did that as well uh, for Dynamite. I was pointing to the wrong book. For Dyn no, I wasn't. I was pointing to the wrong one. For Dynamite. But it's got cover um, interviews uh, with Don Heck. Um, of course, his run on the Avengers. People either love it or they hate it, but I love it. Um, again, it's a great book to have. It's only $39.95. It's hardback. It's such a great cover. Um, it's, if you're in comic book history, comic book artists, um, Silver Age, Golden Age books, um, this is a book to have, one of your books to add to your collection. Um, I highly recommend it. Um, if, you always, if you've been on the fence with Don Heck, uh, you get this book, it'll put you over to the side of, of enjoying the man's work and what he put out. I'm lucky that enough to have two or three pages of Don Heck, but it was right before he passed away. So it's unfortunately heavily inked. I don't know who the inker is on this book, um, but at least Don Heck touched it and, and drew the pages. Um, it's a sci-fi series, and I can't remember for the life of me the name of it, but it was very, very good. Um, but again, I recommend this book highly. Uh, Don Heck. Um, one of the things I'm a big fan of, uh, some of you watched my channel might have caught some, some videos where I talk about Doc Savage. Um, one of the newer books, um, Empire of Doom, which is great with the shadow. Um, Doc Savage with his ripped shirt and his vest underneath it. But it's a pretty thick, pretty thick book. Um, DeVito drawing on the back of Doc Savage and his 
Fabulous Five. Um, looking forward to sitting down and reading this. I've got time, all the time in the world, right? Hope I don't break my glasses. Everyone gets that reference. Kudos to you. Um, got this book. Uh, it's added, I've got like six or seven of these. Um, this says by by um, Kenneth Robinson, but I think Will Murray um, wrote this book. Um, yeah. Um, Will Murray and Lester Dent writing as Kenneth Robinson. So that's kind of cool. Uh, Joe DeVito did the cover uh, as well. This is a, one of the famous things he did for Graffiti Designs. Uh, I think they made a t-shirt or a poster out of this. So, but again, this is Doc Savage, Empire of Doom with the Shadow. Uh, very cool. Um, and one of the things that she really surprised me with, I'm not even open yet, it's still in the shrink wrap. It's Marvel Masters of Suspense, Stan Lee and Steve Ditko. Look at that cover. Phenomenal. It's, um... It has Journey to Mystery 33, 38, 50 to 73, Strange Tales 46 to 50, um, 67 to 91, Journey in, un, into Unknown Worlds, uh, Mystery Tales, Two Gun Western, which I'm dying to see that. I need to get that one uh, in my collection. Uh, World of Suspense, Marvel Tales, Spellbound, Strange Tales of the Unusual, Astonishing. World of Mystery, World of Fantasy, Battle, Gunsmoke Western, which is going to be another one I want to get. Strange Worlds, Tales to Astonish, Tales of Suspense. Um, Tales of Suspense, 1 to 15, 17 to 24, and Amazing Adventures. And there's, I didn't list the numbers, I'd be too long here talking, but those are all the books that are in this in this volume. Again, I recommend it. This is Volume 1. Um, yeah, Volume 1. Volume 2, um, you can pre-order on Amazon. It's $100, but you get a lot of stuff here for $100. So, again, um, Suspense by Steve Ditko, one of the masters. So, I'm looking forward to that. Um, but that's it. Um, I got some other stuff, some music and, and other non-comic book related stuff, but don't want to get into that. Waste everyone's time on the video because it's about all about comics and pop culture. Um, so we're going to say bye, Nosferatu and myself. Going to say see you later. Hope everyone has a great new year. Um, and it's a safe one for everybody. And I hope the new year brings everyone joy and excitement more so than the previous years in everyone's life because I know the new year everyone wants to start something new and I hope it is hope it's exciting um, maybe you might want to travel to a place you never traveled before exercise whatever it is um, travel that's my thing for the new year is to travel and to see things I haven't seen before um, one of the main places I want to go to is Providence Rhode Island I know who Providence but HP Lovecraft is from there, wrote a lot of his stories based in Providence. And I want to go to his grave site and do the touristy thing as far as H.P. Lovecraft is concerned. I have a book that lists um, excerpts from the book, from his stories, to where it may equate to or is equated to someplace in Providence. So I'm looking forward to that. That's one of the things I'm going to do. And hopefully... Now that I have the time, I can upgrade my channel to have video camera with me to videotape these things. And, and instead of coming back and talking about them, you guys can actually see them. I can take you along. Like some of you guys do, Mr. Rig, Mr. Rig Amortis, he takes us along on his comic book journeys and, and elsewhere. And some other, some other YouTubers do, but I can't think of them on the top of my head. But he's the one that takes us along a day in the life of Mr. Rig, so... I digress, so everyone take care, and have a safe and happy new year.